Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Digre, and today we continue our Warptorio series where the first thing we'll have to do is start some new science. Uh, I'm very pleased with what we got done last episode. It sorted out so many things with us that uh, it was just a pain. But now it's actually working very, very nice. So um, the next thing we should go for, what should that be? We could get these done just to, yeah, get this whole science chain done. And I think I will do that for now. Let's just try and research these. They shouldn't take that long and uh, Hopefully they can remove some of these last black borders we have. That could be uh, be very nice in terms of uh, setting everything up very, very nicely. Um, yeah, we're doing spring cleaning. And uh, to be honest, before we do that, let's just stabilize one more time. I think that's a good way to start an episode. So uh, now we're at least free of a bit of pollution and hopefully the biters will leave us alone for a little bit though they are getting a lot more aggressive and something we'll have to keep an eye out for um, let's all set up a bit more uh, what's it called production for productivity since we are definitely not producing enough so let's just set up a few more Let's do two, and then we can just stack whatever we get. Let's also just move these two down to stay by themselves right there. So everything lines up very, very nicely. Because that has been a bit of an issue if they don't. You need that one. So there we are. This is looking very nice. Things are producing, and hopefully we'll get these filled with the... Uh, Reproductivity very soon, so we don't have to look at uh, this horrible mess. But what is our factory missing at the moment? Iron gear wheels. That is, uh, yeah, it's always something. So let's just do two more for now. We can always just remove them again if we are producing enough. But uh, they are at least producing with 40% productivity. So now all this is going, how is our supply looking? We're down to 84k iron plates. Still we have enough of coal as well. So I think we are good for the foreseeable future. We are spending, if we look at iron, about 3k a minute or something like that. 3.2k a minute. So in about 30 minutes, if you don't get any more iron, we'll kind of run out. And we're still getting a bit in from our little platform over here, but uh, it's not that much. Uh, and we don't really have the power to go into what you called electric miners, because uh, as you can see, we're just, we're just holding it right now where we're at. So that's actually uh, not something I'll try to dabble with at the moment. But letting this run is, uh, is going well for us at the moment. Um, I haven't really looked at the new beacon build yet. That's going to be very exciting as well. So we'll probably have to think about how we can beacon uh, all of our labs and make it uh, a lot faster than just putting down more and more. Though that will also be an easy solution to our problem, but not a fun one to do in the long term. We should also get this one. So what if we set up some kind of production for speed modules and efficiency modules just so we can get that little thing done that's uh, holding us a bit back at the moment. So let's just do a little bit of math. Probably not good math. Well, let's do it on the efficiency ones. Since we already have one of the other ones. But one of these produces every 15 seconds. This one needs four every 30, so it needs to be a two to one ratio. So if we do something like, oh, like that, 
and then one tier two, then we should have a ratio that's, uh, that should be working for us. On robots, I like I said, use tier two. And then we just let this uh, fill up. There we are. And now we have this one running. And to be honest, we could do the same with this, but then again, we have four tier one that should be able to power what is called two of these. But uh, at the moment, we're also filling them into different machines and using them for science. At least I think so. So um, that's why it's taking a bit longer to get that thing up and running, because these are eating quite a bit into our supply. So, yeah, we'll just kind of leave it there. Oh, I've never noticed the uh, minus 80% limits on crafting speed, uh, like making it slower. So in theory, we could actually just throw in better productivity modules without getting any more speed uh, cap than this, <coughs> which is actually quite, quite nice. But then again, we are produce, uh, consuming pretty much as much as one uh, steam engine for each one of our simple machines which is completely insane. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's something we have we're struggling a bit to deal with, but hopefully we won't run into issues dealing with. Uh, let's just go down to the boy room and set up a bit more power. We should have room for it. If I don't get stuck to this. And all we need to do is pretty much just throw down one of these because look, we're almost at the edge of what we can get. So what if we do it here it should actually be fine. To be honest, we just need to do that for both of them. So let's do it right here. I think it's the same spot the other one. Let's do the same up here. And the other one we don't really need to do it at, so something like that. And there we go. Please place those down. Let's remove some of these in here. That's actually not needed if things go out like that. Oh, the one over here is most definitely needed, I can say. I can see that. So let's just do this for now. And it needs to hit somewhere around here I think is where it looks very symmetrical there maybe at least that gives us coverage on all of it and that's kind of what I'm looking for that also means that we can fill in the rest so we have some solar panels for you we can kind of remove the ones we have in here that's just kind of in the way right now then we can remove all of that, steal the blueprint from up here, and actually just throw it down, down here. And the problem is just us getting the power down. Don't know if that is the correct spot, but we can just use this as a blueprint for it. So do we bring any substations we did? So can we just set that down as far out as we can? So one. That should be fine in terms of covering it. And then we can just kind of fill in the things we want. Something like that should power everything. Except it doesn't since these need to be connected up by wire. So there we go. Let's use this blueprint everywhere. So please take and copy you. Flip you around just like so. I'll kind of block out one of these. But hopefully we can solve that without too much of an issue. Here are some stop stations for you, please. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we'll just have to go up here and grab some. Um, can't remember if we set up any production for substations. It doesn't look like we did. So let's just quickly set that up over here. In this mess of our factory. Um, there we go. Substations. Thank you. And we start to run out of... Oh, we're starting to run out of every circuit. But pretty much just because... They're getting productivity. Because we do have more than enough of everything else. So that is slowing us down a small amount. But uh, hopefully it will catch up again at some point. Because right now everything is getting productivity, and that means everything is running very, very slowly. But back to downstairs. I should have most of what I need now just to get the rest set up. Here we are. That means we can just take our own robots, just run down here and place them. There we are. That generates a bit more power. Wow, look at our power. We are in serious trouble in terms of power. This is just barely holding on. So, um, could change one of these for another setup, but uh, I don't think we want to consume any more ore down here. Oh, not ore, but any more uh, coal. Consume about 2k a minute. That is actually quite a bit. So let's just deconstruct the rest of this one. And let's do the same setup. And do it right there. Do it for us. We don't have enough for the last one. But at least that will give us uh, most of what we need. Wow, that's 166 coal. Oh well, that is fine. Because we do have enough science to go for a long, long time. So in that regard, we should probably level out very soon when these fills up again. And uh, then we have more than enough in storage. And that is kind of one of the main issues why we're spending so much right now. Those are going. I kind of forgot to set up the other thing we we're talking about. Or what's it called? Speed modules. So let's just do a nice easy set of those. One, two. Look at that. Can barely fit in. That was complete coincidence. But let's just do this. And say I had that planned all along. Oh, and that's probably one of the reasons as well why these are running out of uh, things. Because we are spending quite a bit doing this. And this setup is not really made to support this much. Though our oil is holding strong. And we probably could deconstruct this massive thing here in the middle. At least we will do that if we ever need the room. And look at that. The productivity is just reaching them. That's actually quite, quite nice. In terms of power, it costs a bit more. But uh, in terms of resources, it is actually not too bad. Ooh, it's going down in the day. That is not good. So that could mean we'll have to set up even more steam power. Or finally get the core enrichment process done. And set up some, uh, what's it called? Some nuclear power. But I just want to get this one done and see how much room it gives us. If it removes one of these borders, I'll most definitely get all four done.
If not, I will probably leave it for a little while. But uh, yeah, that is going to be quite exciting. But to help... No, I can't even start this up because it's going to consume too much power uh, doing that. So beacon might actually be a way to uh, to save on this. Yeah, let's try let's try and do a beacon build. Uh, will it help? Will it cost us more power to do it? I think it actually might cost us more power to do that. But I'm not completely sure. So right now we're just kind of figuring out what the base the base needs. What is stacking up, and it's pretty much just gonna be uh, yeah, because science electrics is starting to build up. So that is pretty much the main thing we're needing. Is just a small amount of power. We could set up something just outside the base for example we haven't really seen any bias attack from up here so what if we just set up a simple steam setup right here supply it with coal from here just to give us the power we need it's not really a solution i like to be honest because that kind of removed one of my things I always do and that's keeping everything on the platform Boiler floor, that could give us more. We already have this one. Does it just give us more water then? Oh, these would be very, very good to get. So this could be one of the first thing we get after we launch our first rocket. I think that could be quite cool. But in terms of more space, I don't think we have, we have to harvest the floor. Gives us a small amount, but I don't think it's that much in terms of power. Um, yeah, that's actually quite a good question, how we should get more power, guys. I don't just want to throw down that's it probably has to be nuclear we'll have to go for to get uh, more power up and running without um, having to do it like this but just as a warning it's been a long long time since i did um, what's it called nuclear last so the setup is probably gonna be quite quite abysmal if we go that route but uh, you guys could probably let's do that just to get a bit more. So guys could probably help me a bit with that if we go that route. That would I would appreciate that very, very much. Can we then fit in some more like this? Oh, that's a horrible setup, but uh, I think it will be fine. Question mark. Oh, it's a bit misaligned. Yeah, we'll just leave it at this for now. And then we'll um, probably sort that out in the future as well. So let's see what plant from Torrid North is almost done. So uh, hopefully it gives us something good. If it just expands this, uh, it's don't think it's worthwhile doing the last two. <coughs> At least that is what I'm hypothesizing. Come on, take over please, so I can see what happens. Well, it just says... Might just expand this. Come on, you're almost done. Because it's just expanded that. What about downstairs? It gave us a bit more room here. Yeah, I wouldn't call that overly necessary to get at the moment. I should probably get the Corex enrichment process instead. I know it's quite expensive, as some of you have commented, 
but I think it I think it's gonna be useful as soon as we get it done. Because pretty much all that's holding us back right now is the power. Of course the resources is fine. We'll probably have to remember to go look for iron plates soon. Um could probably move some of the coal to uh to iron plates. Because we are filling up quite quite a lot. But uh but yeah. For now I think it's uh it's okay. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. These are all running at full power. They are. That is exactly what I like to see. So um, I don't know if we should warp to a new world. To be honest, I know it's in small patches, but to be honest, we have everything we need. So we might as well stay here. I could go a bit over here, just clear out some biters. I actually think I will do that because that's where we're getting attacked from right now, the earliest, when uh, when we leave him. Let's just do this, get a few more and get our tank. And let's go out and kill some biters because they're already attacking us as it is right now. And don't need anything else, then I'll grab a few more just to be sure we have enough on us. There we are. A bit more. And let's go by to killing. They're coming from right there. And to be honest, what I'm afraid that might happen is that we'll go for a base. Then the base will be too strong and then I will die. I'm quite afraid of that. Uh, of that. Though our lasers do seem... Uh, to be taking care of this quite, quite nicely. And to be honest, we could actually get some of this laser damage. A bit more damage. This one can wait. But it's quite fun that we haven't been to this side yet of the world. It's kind of a part of the world we haven't, uh, haven't thought about in a long, long time. So what do we have over here? A small base right here. Oh, I don't like those big ones. Let's see if we can do this without getting into too much of a... That's fine. Oh, it's a base here as well. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. That is not good to be stuck. But uh, let's kill these guys. And then as soon as we're done killing here, we can actually go back, get our new armor, and probably get a fusion reactor. If that is going to be necessary, that is. That is gone. Let's go up into the peninsula up here, kill this little thing as well. To be honest, the laser has gotten quite strong after we upgraded it a bit. Actually, a lot more strong, or a lot stronger than I thought it would be. Um, just water here, that's fine. So while the base is just shocking along... Uh, oh, there's a little chest here with junk. But it's something we'll grab nonetheless. Let's just explore a bit. And see what we can find. Uh, just water here, that's not overly exciting. But it does mean that we have no biters. Let's check over here. Not really anything. Do we have anything further south? Oh, we do have a huge base over here. Let's watch out, don't get stuck in some kind of uh, trap. There we 
go. Let's see how strong these are. Let's go a bit in circles because uh, there are quite a bit here. And they're not good at hitting you if you just go in a circle. I actually went surprisingly well. How's the pollution down here? Not quite reached there yet. But uh, should we explore any more down here? I don't think so. It's not overly useful. So I might just drive back to the base and uh, stay there. And hopefully our research will be done very soon. Or at least, well, not the research, but what I'm looking to get done is pretty much just the crafting of uh, the extra resources that we had to produce since we moved the original um, crafting area. Just checking, I can't see any good chests or anything. So let's just take a quick trip back home. And uh, when we get there, I think it might be a somewhat good place to stop. Um, I'll kind of have to think about a good way to get our science speed up a bit without sacrificing too many resources or draining a lot more power. That is kind of my, uh, my issue right now. So uh, let's drive back. Oh, we're way, way down south. So, uh, there we are. Go, go, go. Almost home. And then let's check on the base. Let's check how much power we're missing. And then plan a bit for the future. Oh, stop. So how's the power looking? Oh, we're starting to build up power again. Does that mean that something down here has stopped producing? Probably some of these are starting to hit uh, a maximum again. So they're not consuming as much power as they were before. So that's actually very, very nice to see. So it does look like our power is uh, starting to hold strong. Uh, for the fun of it, let's just try and do one beacon. We can hit these five, just for a test. And then if we give them speed modules, how does this look in terms of power? Okay, let's see. This one is consuming 348. That's actually 50% more, but it will give it 20% more speed. So it's moving 15% speed off. Negative 15 more speed. But to be honest, I don't know if that is useful or not in terms of uh, of power. Uh, do comment what you think about the doing this. I'm not quite sure if it's uh, worth it, but I love your input on it. Correct going. Everything else is going. We could just throw down a few more labs. I think that will be better than doing what's called. Uh, speed beacons at the moment. But we could also just beacon one of them with massive speed. But since we have negative 70% speed, it might just be better to throw down more. Yeah, I'm not quite sure on the math. We'll probably have to check it sometime in the future. But uh, I'll stop the episode here. We uh, we got a, quite a bit done this episode as well. Um, looking forward to getting the core Rex enrichment process done. So we can try to set up some nuclear. Haven't done that in 
it's about to say years, but it hasn't been that long since Nuclear came out. But uh, but yeah, it's going to be fun to look at. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you like, subscribe, and comment. And then I will see you in next episode. Bye, guys.